And the little things, the little tiny things that we take for granted, that we just walk out and complain about everything, the weather, my shoes, this, not saying I complain, but just in general, there's someone out there that can't even see. There's someone out there that is depending on a stranger, a stranger, someone they don't know, someone they don't know to help guide them. Alhamdulillah, you know, like, and and alhamdulillah for Allah allowing that 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 man to trust me or like to put me at that place at that time because I wasn't gonna go, and then I kept thinking about it, and then I just wound up going, and then alhamdulillah, like, I was able to help this man, and not only did I help him, but he helped me. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I would like to say welcome. I am Zoya. And here on my channel, I like to discuss the facts about Islam and mostly uh, stories about me and my voyage through Islam. Um, my mission is to try to help end the stereotypes about Islam by sharing facts and the truth about Islam, along with my stories again. So if you're interested in learning about Islam or learning about me, be sure to click that button down at the bottom that says subscribe and you get more videos like such, inshallah. So I normally don't record this day. I normally do not um, post this day. But it's something that happened to me that I really would like to share with you guys because uh, I just love to share my experience. And each and every day I, I, I come to realize that each and every moment is more and more of a humbling day. So I was at work and I noticed I found myself kind of complaining about like a lot of things that were going on. And, you know, I uh, basically was not unappreciative because to be unappreciative is like to just always be kind of negative i was looking at the the positive side of things but i just was so down and 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 like just so gloomy like and i just kept on complaining about stuff uh work related stuff i noticed i just kept on complaining about work related stuff and um i finally got over it because i noticed that every time i was upset about work I noticed that uh, my prayers would come in and I would have to pray. So I went to the masjid and I prayed uh, Asar and Maghrib. And I feel like when you leave and give things to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Alhamdulillah, like you feel much more better. But then I noticed that I had one more prayer left and that was, of course, Aisha. And um, I was upset before the, I was upset before the prayer and because work is <laughs> stressful <laughs> and then after I noticed that after I prayed I felt so much better but then I thought about I thought to myself I'm like there's not enough prayers <laughs> because I just felt like you know I kept on getting stressed and I kept letting little things bother me but I just was like you know I need more prayers because it's like I have to pray to make myself feel better but at that moment I realized that I was just complaining I was upset about something that was out of my control and something that was just so little so as I was driving home I um was like you know what like let me go to Walmart real quick because I want some halos I don't know if you guys are familiar with the halos little tangerine things little oranges and I said oh you know I ran out of tangerine I ran out of the halos so let me go to the market and get some more halos i'm gonna get two bags of halos this time so it will last me alhamdulillah so i go and i i get my halos and i wasn't gonna go to the market at all but i just say you know i'm outside just go ahead and get it because once i hit the bed i am out for the night i'm out for the day and and then i have to go back to work alhamdulillah but i was just like okay i went to the market they had stacks and stacks of my halos and I'm like alhamdulillah let me grab some bags and then I proceeded to go to the checkout and I checked out everything was fine and I'm on my way back home as I was leaving the market alhamdulillah it was this 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 guy and um he was blind and I kept looking at him because 
uh, I don't know if you guys know, but sometimes people that are disabled, they don't want to feel as if you are... I don't know how to explain it. They don't want you to feel sorry for them. And in saying, I'm sorry, sir, or sorry, ma'am, do you need help? They feel as if you are saying, like, you know, that you are feeling sorry for them and that um, you're calling them disabled. They don't want to feel disabled. So I usually wait until someone asks me, like, can you help me? I don't want to just, you know, hi, do you need help, you know? So I just was looking at him. And I just started like stumping harder so he can like feel the vibrations or hear me. And he surely heard me and he goes, excuse me. And I said, yes, sir, do you need any help? And he says, yes, can you just take me to the customer service? And I said, absolutely, like I'll take you. And I had my, I had my cart full of things and I'm like, I'm not gonna leave it out there. Anyone could just take it, it's paid for. So I just grabbed my cart and then he had a cart and I said, did you need the cart? He said, yes, just guide the cart and I followed the cart. So I said, Alhamdulillah. So I'm guiding him to the customer service and I asked, uh, cause the customer service lights were out. So I asked a representative or a, a salesperson, the people that work there. And I said, is your customer service open? And they said, no, it doesn't open until eight. So I looked at him, I said, sir, that customer service does not open until eight. So then he says to me, oh, wow. Um, all right, just pull me somewhere that someone can see me. So then I'm, I'm just like, you, I don't see a seat that you could sit down at customer. He says, I'm not asking to sit down. Just, I just want someone to see me. <sighs> so I go to him and I mean, I, I, I pull him to customer service and I said, what do you need help with? He said, my car comes at 720. I said, okay, your car comes at 720, but customer service doesn't open until eight. He goes, yes, so that's very unfortunate. I don't really know what to do, but I just stand here until someone sees me. And um, I said, oh, I said, uh, you know, I'll get someone to help you. Like, you know, just stay put. And he goes, I only have to go food shop and it should take about 20 minutes. And I said, okay. Um, and in my head, I'm like, I'm about to just drop my stuff and just help him. But I seen when I checked out, it was this, um, it was this, uh, cashier and she had such a pleasant face. Like when I left, she said, have a good day, baby. So I went to her because I was comfortable with her and she just, you know, little things like calling, you know, someone baby and it, it sets a warm place in the heart. So you're just like, oh, let me just go back to the person that was kind to me. So I went back to her and she was talking to another uh, employee and I said, I'm so sorry to bother you. I know that you're in charge of this area, but you have such a kind face and a nice soul and I just want to, to ask you can you help this gentleman he's blind and he just wants to go shopping but I don't this customer service is closed so she looks and she goes I think Tanya uh, it's a girl named Tanya. she helps him he that's why he comes here because at the end of the sh uh, at the end of her shift she comes and she helps him alhamdulillah may Allah bless Tanya because at the end of her shift and she helps this blind elderly man and you know her shift is over so she's not getting paid for that alhamdulillah um, but so I, I say to the lady, I said, oh, well, you know, he just do. I, I don't want to just leave him there. Like, you know, I can help. So she goes, no, she says, we'll find someone. So then one of the, the uh, employees says, oh, he's right there. So the lady goes, oh, oh, let me go walk over to him. So I follow her and she says, sir, are you waiting for Tanya? So he says, um, I was, but Tanya says she can't do it today. So she's going to find someone. So the employee goes, oh, you know what? I'll I, I help you. You know, I'll just do it. And she left, abandoned her, po her post to help this, this blind man. And I said to her, I said, you know, may God bless you. And I said, you know, um, and I just was happy that he got the help that he needed. And uh, when I walked out of the market, I was crying the whole way down the escalator. And I know people probably looking at me like, what the heck is wrong with her? <laughs> but um, I cried because it humbled me. And I feel like at times when we feel like we're up here, you know, when we feel entitled, when we 
are unappreciative, when we complain, Allah, alhamdulillah, <laughs> Allah always sends down a message. He always sends down, I don't want to say a message, a stuff for Allah because I'm not a messenger. But Allah always shows you and Allah always humbles you to show you appreciate the little things that you have. Appreciate them. I'm complaining about my job, but I have a job. I complain about my car not going fast enough. But I have a car, alhamdulillah. I complain about where I live. But I have a place to live, alhamdulillah. And the little things, the little tiny things that we take for granted, that we just walk out and complain about everything, the weather, my shoes, this. Not saying I complain, but just in general. There's someone out there that can't even see there's someone out there that is depending on a stranger a stranger someone they don't know someone they don't know to help guide them alhamdulillah you know like and and alhamdulillah for Allah allowing that 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 man to trust me or like to put me at that place at that time because I wasn't gonna go and then I kept thinking about it and then I just wound up going and then alhamdulillah like I was able to help this man and not only did I help him but he helped me because I saw something that I just couldn't I just couldn't I just have to say I'm sorry to Allah I kept on saying alhamdulillah Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar all the way down the escalate I just kept crying and crying and I just want us to start appreciating the little things that we have. May Allah bless us all. I mean, be thankful for your eyes that you can see. Be thankful for your mouth that you can eat. Your tongue that you can talk. Your nose that you can smell. Your hands so you can feel. Your feet so you can walk. Your skin holds all of your organs in. Your legs, you could... You, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Always thank Allah. Never forget. Never forget how blessed you are. Because there are people out there that is not so fortunate as you. Right? So, before I get emotional, I'm pretty sure this is a very emotional video. And I know you probably could see it in my eyes because my throat hurt from holding back the tears. Alhamdulillah. But I had to get up here and I had to share this message with you guys because it hurt. It, it, it humbled me. So I want you guys today, tomorrow, to just write down on a piece of paper everything that Allah has blessed you with. It doesn't matter if it's not what you wanted. It doesn't matter if it's not as glamorous or it's not as beautiful. Or it's just, it's, it's a little off. You have it. Alhamdulillah. Always thank Allah for the little tiny things that we have because someone is begging for the little tiny things that you have and they don't alhamdulillah and as always i would just like to um end this with uh a dua for all of my brothers and sisters <laughs> bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim alhamdulillah rabbil alameen ya allah i pray that you bless prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam all of the prophets alayhi wasallam and your angels allah may you please allow us to see the little things that we have and how you have blessed us with that Allah allow us to be more humble please humble us all may you keep us blessed may you keep us appreciative may you keep us well-rounded may you allow us to be appreciative of every little thing that we have and Allah please forgive us when we were not humble. Please forgive us for our shortcomings. Please forgive us for times that we may seem unappreciative. Please forgive us for times we may have mistreated someone because we were going through things in our own path, in our own way. Allah, please keep us on a path straight and please keep us steady fast. I mean. Until next time, I will see you Monday uh, because this video wasn't supposed to be released, but I will see you Monday, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bye.